All right, starting down Monday, April 18th, brought to you by Helix Mattresses. We all know sleep is super important. Yeah. <laughs> what? I know you're going to end with sleep, yes. I've heard of it. Yeah, sleep very important. Sleep's very important. Yes. You want to be comfortable. You want to have a comfortable be. mattress. I have a Helix mattress at my apartment. It's Liar. I do. And when I go home, I don't have a Helix mattress. When I go home to my parents' house, I don't sleep nearly as well. I got to get back to my apartment. Get don't my you clothes. sleep in your parents' bed when you go home? Yeah, they don't have they don't have one. No, that's not funny. Um, I thought it was funny. No, I slept in my own bed. I have my own bedroom. It's a very adult looking bedroom. Your race car bed at home doesn't have. It's, it's a really child looking bedroom. I have a lot of Yankee posters. I have something that says Danger Thomas's room. <laughs> <laughs> we still up. How do you not do a crib tour? I, I yeah, I should do a more. Well, I don't live there anymore. Yeah, but you were there this weekend. You should have done a crib store. Yeah, I posted a quick video on my Instagram story. I could, I could send to Kevin to put in. It's really, it's an embarrassment. Some stuffed animals in there. Lexi love it. was my go-to stuffed animal as a kid. Uh, but I have a Helix in New York City, and I love it. I don't know how people sleep without it. I wake up feeling fresh, uh, refreshed, and rested. It's the best mattress that I've ever had. Helix Sleep has a quiz that takes just two minutes to complete, and it matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. I took the Helix quiz, and I was matched with the Midnight Mattress because I wanted something that felt not too firm and not too uh, soft, and I also sleep on my side, sometimes the stomach. But everybody's unique, and Helix knows that, so they have different, uh, several different mattresses models to choose from. They have a 10-year warranty, and you get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free. They'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it, but you will. Helix even has mattresses with specialized cooling technology if you and your family can never agree on the temperature of the thermostat. So you're going to go to Helix. Helix offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows to our listeners at helixsleep.com slash rundown. That's helixsleep.com slash rundown for up to $200 off and free two pillows. Steven, Big Cat, hey, thanks for, What's up? How thanks we doing? for coming on. Uh, NBA playoffs. We'll start there. Pretty good weekend in the NBA playoffs. Starts, obviously, with the Celtics and Nets, the series, the game to talk about. Kyrie versus the Boston fans. Jason Tatum, uh, walk-off buzzer. I, I love the right. I think that Kyrie versus the Celtics is just good for sports. Agreed. Big agree. I mean, he played there. He kind of gaslit them into thinking that he was going to re-sign with them and then just bailed. Um, so it's a natural rivalry, and he's a, he's a perfect foil because he is a ball-dominant player. So it's, it's, it's fun to boo him. I was kind of shocked by Dave's tweets after because I maybe I'm way off, but... I feel like they've now reached a good point where it's like, he hates you, you hate him, game on. Kyrie Irving is an asshole. Kyrie Irving is a cocksucker. Shut the fuck up. That guy sucks. Kyrie is the biggest cock who ever lived. Right. You know what I mean? I th but I think that's, I think, they, I think everyone knows that. Right, but I don't, like, I don't think Kyrie did anything that, there's nothing that Kyrie did yesterday where I'm like, this guy sucks. He would... He talked shit back to the fans, he played great, and then the Celtics won. It was like a win all around for like Celtics fans where they just, they won because he, I don't know, I just, I, I love it. I think it's great for sports, I want more of it. Um, I hope it doesn't slow down, I hope it actually ramps up. Like him, him saying, suck my dick, I actually, yeah. I love that. I don't, fingers behind the head. Yeah, that, those I are wish, awesome I wish moves. athletes did that more. Yes. Like, as a fan, it almost is like, it's great to know that he's he's at least responding. Right, so. but also, I, I, like, I don't want Boston fans to respect that. Like, I want them to take that to heart and take You it. can respect it while also just ramping it up. Like, that's what, I, that's what I would I'd be like. I respect that he hates us, I hate him more kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's going to be set. Who do you think wins? How deep do you think it goes? I was surprised to see that Boston was favored in this. I know they're the higher seed, but like as far as playoffs, they're the better team. Typically, super. I mean, Robert Williams is out. Typically, superstars rise to the top, and yeah, but the, J Jason Tatum is awesome and played great. But as far like Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, but they don't play they defense. I always thought the Celtics were going to win this series. I nothing changed from the first game. Um, it would have been a really bad loss for the Celtics because they were up so much. But I just. I think they're a better team than the Nets. Someone said, I think Nick Wright said it, the Nets are like an NFT, where it's like, in principle, it's beautiful and great, and it's like, but then it doesn't actually materialize. But I, I, think, I, I think I would walk away encouraged from that game if I was a Nets fan. So they, they, really? They didn't play well at the beginning. They still only lost by one. Like, Kevin Durant didn't play very well. Ooh, I, 
See, I disagree. I, Kevin Durant had to play 45 minutes. Kyrie had to play, like, perfect, and you lost. But Durant didn't play well. He's not going to have that bad of a game. I don't know, man. They, they, they had a good defensive, like. They did. They were all. Yeah, they, they basically were like, we're going to let one guy beat us, not both. They don't have a third banana. It was a great game. It was a great game. It will be a great series. Yeah, they don't have a third banana. They don't have anyone who, uh, like, I, you just can't trust their defense to get stops at the end. I mean, you saw even the play before Tatum, the two for one. That was so easy when they got the yeah. two for yeah. one. So, I, it's a great series. I hope it goes seven. Um, I just think the Celtics are the better team. I've, I've thought that before the series started. Steve Nash is a really <coughs> bad coach. I disagree. Steve Trash is the worst coach in the history of the NBA. The worst coach in the history of the NBA. And they better fucking fire him after they get bounced in this first round series by the fucking Celtics. I am tired of fucking Steve Trash. Why do you disagree? We're just gonna disagree on I mean, everything, I get, Tommy. I guess that mainly my takes on him come from Frank the Tank's TikTok videos, yeah, but no. everything he says makes a lot of sense. I, I would, I, it would be hard to find a coach that has had to deal with more bullshit than Steve Nash. Yeah. To have his team even like, <laughs> Talking to each yeah, but other. But he also a has a very, like two of the best five to ten players in the world. One of them didn't play half the season. One of them, and the other one was injured for a good stretch. So I, I just don't know what other team would have to deal with. Think about it. Last year, they get two out of like they get James Harden. He has to work him in. They like Kyrie is is kind of out there. They both get injured. They all, they take the Bucks to seven, the the NBA champion. This year, James Harden does, like completely tunes out, demands right. a trade. Kyrie's vaccination. But you thing can't was, blame Steve Nash a little for that, for not keeping, trying to keep him. Together. No, I think James Harden's a dick. All right, fair. Kyrie is crazy, and and you know the vaccination back and forth, like having to figure out a team where one of your best players plays half the games. Kevin Durant got hurt. I don't. I'm a big believer in in when it comes to NBA, like managing egos and and talent and keeping everyone together is such a big part of the game. Bill Jackson, yeah. Right. So I don't think he's done that. I they're in the playoffs and they all get along. I mean, they're the 7 seed and they had a well, yeah, great one. Yeah, Kyrie didn't play players. for half the year. I, the Nets wouldn't be the 7 seed if Kyrie was playing all year. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, they'd be higher if Kevin Durant didn't get hurt, they right. definitely would be higher too. Right. So I I don't know. I don't like think the, he's a great coach. I mean, maybe I've been too influenced by Frank the Tank. I'll agree with you. I don't think he's a great coach. I do not think he's a bad coach. Definitely not. Yeah. Uh, your Bulls lost to the Bucks. Do you think there's any chance? They were know. competitive. Yeah, they, they were. They were winning by five points in the fourth quarter. I know, they were, but they're, they're, they just can't shoot. Like, the, the That's an three ugly guys, game, yeah. DeMar DeRozan, Vooch, and, and Zach Levine were like 21 for 71. They fought hard. They were better. I had a, I had a few people be like, you're so down on the Bulls, like, dude, because I watch them every night, and the last two months they have not they have not even been a playoff team. Like, yeah. the way they played. Last night they played better than they have in a very long time against top competition, so that's at least encouraging. But, I mean, it's just Giannis is so good. They're just the, – the Bucks are taller, stronger, better. I don't know. It just sucks. It was a Brook Lopez game. He took, yeah. he took over in the fourth quarter. The, the Bulls don't have any size. They yeah. don't. All right. So. And then we had a lady chain herself uh, to a hoop. The, the protesters or whatever, streakers, whatever you want to call them, they're getting more innovative. The, the lady uh, glued herself uh, in the Clippers game, right, last week. Now yes. this lady chained herself to the, uh, I don't know what's next from here. But they're protesting open. the same thing. Wait, what are they protesting? Glenn Taylor killed a bunch of chickens. But he's not the owner anymore. He is till 2023. Who's Glenn Taylor? The okay, owner like, of the what wolves. more do they want? Do they want to stop, like, I mean... Killing chickens, I think, is a pretty simple ask. <laughs> well, someone's got to kill chickens. I'm not siding with... I'm not <laughs> siding with them. I guess there was something... The details are, like, he had a bunch of chickens and they had the bird flu, and then he killed them all? I don't know. I think you're I supposed to. Oh, yeah, right. I, mean, yeah. I would think that... And people, you got to eat chickens. Yeah. Is he, like, killing them with Kevin, bare hands? Saying? Yeah, I know. But they're going was, to the road yeah. game? Yeah, no, they're going everywhere. I, now... If you are not an NBA fan, you should be rooting for the T-Wolves just to see if these protesters <laughs> are willing to buy baseline tickets to every city. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. No. The security has to be, like, like terrorist level for next game, I would think. I mean, they're, they went do you from... Think, like, I feel like they'll be more... They'll come more to Minnesota. Yeah. Right? Like, game three will be there. You didn't expect them here. 
Yeah, right. her, sh her shirt says Taylor roasts yeah. chicken no, it's the alive. Same, same exact thing. So I like this. Yeah, I thought uh, A Rod isn't he like a no, new part owner? Yeah, so they're like doing a translate. Like, isn't the Wilpons doing something similar? Where yeah, like, right. or maybe they didn't do it. Maybe they ended up not doing it because it was Steve Cohen. But like, it's a transitional thing where gotcha. he's fully giving over the team in 2023. I if I was Glenn Taylor. I wouldn't negotiate with terrorists. I'd fucking kill a chicken at center court. Like, yeah. you know how they ring like the bell? Like a halftime show. Yeah, they ring the bell in Philly before the game. <laughs> I'd just fucking slice a chicken's neck, let it bleed out, and be like, fuck you guys. Or have Red Panda juggle chickens on a unicycle. If dead one... chickens. Yeah, dead. <laughs> I'm in for all of it. Yeah, I mean, it is, though, interesting that the second A-Rod gets involved with the franchise, they turn it around. That's a good point. A I forgot you and I, only A-Rod guys. How are the Yankees doing? Not good. I don't want to talk about it. They lose a series <laughs> to the Orioles? They did. They lost right? two out of three to the Orioles. They're pathetic. And some Yankee fans on Twitter are so fucking stupid. It's crazy. They think, Why? like you said, like you're saying uh, you're criticizing the Bulls. Like people think you can't criticize your own team. You can definitely criticize your own team. Yeah. That's they, what they've being been, a fan They've is. been bad for, or whatever. They've been not good enough for multiple years. They didn't do anything this offseason. Brian Cashman's the worst GM in fucking sports. And you got <laughs> all these player profile Twitter accounts being like, oh, I read fan graphs. The expected average on that one was, I know I'm, it sounds like I'm mimicking myself, but I actually <laughs> would disagree with those people. Like, I don't like all the baseball analytics people who are like, oh, that was a line drive, so it should have been a hit. Like, no, that's you, a hit 50% of the time. I don't like the people who are like, you have to be positive all the time and no. like, then you end up with the world of fucking Stephen Chase. I was going to say. Yeah. Like, could that's, be worse. No, that would be the worst thing ever. Stephen Chase are just, <laughs> and no one would lose. Right, but it, it's. When the Bucks were bad, he would just, they would lose, and he'd be like, draft prospects. You have to yeah, feel but that's something. not what they're doing. What? Like, they're pretending that they're good. Like, Stephen Chase, I think you, you were fine with the Bucks being bad, but you, you weren't, you didn't, like, convince yourself this is a good team. Oh, no, yes, he did. Well,. <laughs> Yes, the, he did, the Tommy. The reason I started doing all 22 stuff was because the year before, we were 2 and 14, and everyone was just shit on the entire team. And I was like, some good is happening. He is the guy we're okay, good talking about. But to be fair, there should be a distinction between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New York Yankees. Like, I don't want Yankees. We were champions. Well, recently, yeah, like they've, they've won a title fans. more recently. Yeah. But Buccaneer fans, you're not, you, there's, there's not an expectation of excellence every single year this until year. recently. Okay. The Yankees every year should be winning World Series. I don't want to have the same expectations. Well, they did in 2017. They went. Yeah. No, they didn't go. So, I mean, Brian were, Cashman yeah. told us they did. No, the Astros, they cheated. Oh. Yeah, he's such a – I hate Brian Cashman so much. He's such a – How's that guy had a job for that long? I think he, he – the the because Hal Steinbrenner doesn't care. He treats him as if he's part of the family. He's been an intern since the 80s, and it's like, oh, Brian Cashman. But I don't even blame Hal Steinbrenner that much. It's, he's put $250 million. So who do you blame? Brian Cashman. I blame everything on Brian Cashman. It's the mo it's the highest payroll. How can you blame him? They won't fire him. Well, I blame Hal for not firing him. <laughs> yeah, so you blame him a little. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess at the end of the day, everything goes up to the owner in, in any sport. But, but that's a sh terrible. Like you sound very much like w when I was going through like the Gar Foreman, John Paxson Bulls, where it's like I would blame them, and then I'd be like, at the end of the day, it's not their fault. They still have the job. Like no one will <laughs> fire them. If you don't right. fire them, then it's the owner's fault. Yeah, but cat. Bri Brian everything Cash. Brian Cashman does he's arrogant, wrong. He's an arrogant prick. Everything that Brian Cashman does wrong is Hal Steinbrenner's fault, in my mind, because he hasn't fired him. But then you could say that any time a player messes up, is that the owner's fault? Like, no, I mean, that's but, but different. It's, it trickle, like, it trickles. In the, no, but it's like, the coach, they shouldn't have been signed, but then you say, oh, the GM shouldn't have signed him. No, but like, if a, shouldn't fire no, if a player messes up a play, it's not like, oh, we should Well, yeah, I, I don't mean one play. I mean, prolonged period of being bad. Yeah, if you, yeah. What do you yes. Like Jason Hayward, nice guy. That was Theo's fault. But then giving him that much money. And isn't that the owner's fault if it's Theo's fault? Well, yeah, but Theo yeah, I mean the owner but Theo has more good than bad, far more good than bad. Well that's like, that how things case. Cashman does, because they make the playoffs. And they made this World Series in two thousand seventeen. Well, oh, they did not make the World Series. That's what he Oscar. said. He's, yeah, I mean, that was crazy. They, they made a hype video being like, no excuses this year, and then all they've done is <laughs> Garrett Cole Garrett is like, Cole. oh, the, the siren is too loud, and Billy Crystal threw out a first pitch. So. Who do you have as your NBA champion, Stephen? Uh, for this postseason? Uh, a long time oh, ago. Last. Yeah, next one. Yeah, last. <laughs> Bucks? Uh, I, be, I bet on the Sixers a while ago, so I'm sticking with the Sixers. I like the Sixers, too. Who do you have, Tommy? I was going to say Sixers Suns. Okay. Uh, I just I feel like the Sixers are sort of like the Bucks last year. I correctly predicted the Bucks last year to no one in particular, but just to myself, where it's like post type sleeper. Like the year after everybody always thinks a team should win. Like I feel like the Sixers for the past few years, it's been like they finally got to do right. it. They finally got to do it. Now people have almost 
given up on them to a degree, and it's like, all right, maybe they'll finally put it together this year. I'm going Warriors. I changed my pick. Really? really? Yeah, this weekend. Because I won 66, 67 units on them. Jordan Poole. Uh-huh. On just Poole. Saturday? Yeah, on the Warriors. I'm up 66.5 units, nine what? units. Did you, why did you bet? I lost uh, one unit on the Sixers, and I won 67 units on the Warriors. The Bulls covered. I didn't have them. Oh, okay. Who do you have coming out of the East? Probably the Bucks. They look. Yeah, I mean, I know they're the defending champions. They just look like shit yesterday. Chris Paul last night looked unbelievable. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He was on fire. But he's gonna get hurt. Not he always does. Yeah, actually, almost definitely. <laughs> actually, <laughs> I. Think, yeah, I mean, almost yeah. definitely he will get hurt. I saw he's never won a series leading 2-0. That's crazy. That almost can't be possible. He's been in the NBA since 2004. Yeah, he's been hurt a lot. I mean, he's won. He gets I hurt. Mean, he's won series, but maybe it was tied 1-1. Yeah, he gets hurt a lot. This was part of one tweet I saw, but it was like <laughs> last, you know, last year finals. They were up 2 on the box. They lost. Uh. So it could be true. I'm not saying for sure that it's true, but it could be true. Uh, over to USFL, running back <laughs> in the natural progression. <laughs> Davion Smith, he's a running back. He got cut uh, because he ordered pizza instead of a chicken salad. The food worker said, uh, you know, can you have chicken salad? He said, no, I don't like chicken salad. I'd like pizza. And the worker said, well, will chicken salad be a problem? And Smith said yes, and he got cut for being disrespectful to the staff members. Chicken salad is not a meal you can force down people's throats. Oh. No. Mm. I mean, it's, I don't mind a chicken salad, but. It's like mayo-based, but it's also very dry. I don't know how that's possible, but it is. Tuna salad is way better. And if you don't like chicken salad, I don't think that's an, uh, a hot take. Like, I feel like a lot of How would you like rank chicken, chicken salad, egg salad, tuna salad? Egg salad at the bottom. Yes, agreed. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I, there's more to this story. There's no way that he just said, I, he shouldn't have been cut. But he had to have done something more. He had to have been like. Well, I think they're spinning it as like, oh, don't be disrespectful. I don't know if he's being disrespectful. Guy just doesn't fucking like chicken salad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have better menu up, but I guess in the Uf USFL, so it's. Oh, like, he's, right, we he's in the Twitter reply. Someone said he got cut because he wasn't good enough. This was just the mechanism. He replied sense. himself <laughs> and said, "Check my stats before you say something, dumb bud." <laughs> he definitely. <laughs> he definitely made fun of chicken salad. Is that, is that enough to, to oh, get Oh, it could have been the Glenn Taylor chick working behind the fucking place. <laughs> I don't know. They're crazies everywhere. No, she, would, she would like him. They should well, no, the chicken combine. salad's already been made. Right, but he's, he he's eat pro it. maybe he's with her. He's protesting not yeah. eating the chicken. True, true. They should team up. They should join forces. Raisin sh raisins should be in every chicken salad, I think. Raisins? Raisins no. and celery. No. no. Gross. No. Wrong. I don't even like that was, that was a terrible take by you. Grapes, yeah. In Sonoma chicken, chicken salad? salad. Yeah, Sonoma chicken salad. That's good. No, Walnuts I just want and grapes. And Walnuts, raisins, no. Celery, maybe. Raisins, celery. I guess raisins and grapes are the same thing, right? <laughs> yeah, it's just a try. Yeah, grapes. no, I realized that. That was stupid <laughs> of me. They shouldn't be in every single one. You can't say stuff like that. Yeah. Chicken salad's not good. Tuna salad is way better. Chicken salad is good. I don't, when I don't the last time you salad. bought a chicken salad on your own volition? Three days ago. And you had other options? Yeah. No. <laughs> yes. Maybe you went to a USFL yeah. cafeteria. Yeah, chicken true. salad is good. What are you talking about? I like chicken salad. I like it on a sandwich, maybe white bread, a piece of American cheese. Maybe Tuna salad bread. and egg salad are the most selfish things a person can eat. Why? It smells bad. It smells terrible. I like them both, but it smells terrible. I haven't had egg salad in <laughs> years. Your breath probably smells like I egg salad. I used to bring egg salad sandwiches <laughs> to school sometimes. I had to stop doing it. Of course that. you did. <laughs> you had to s smell out the cafeteria just with my egg salad sandwiches. Um, but, I mean, they are pretty good. Uh, and this airline <laughs> clip from over the weekend. Kibble, you don't like chicken salad. It's like very whatever. Like, I don't even think it's in the same league as tuna. Chicken salad, salad wrap? It's like, all right, if it's there and there's nothing else, it's like, okay. I'd rather that than a tuna salad wrap. Depends how long it's been out. I wouldn't want to. Put on a bagel, on chicken like salad a on a wrap. If it's on, has, have you guys ever had lox on a bagel? Yes. Yeah. Delicious. Is it really good? You've it's never okay. had it? I've never had it. I, it's I, okay. Don't, it's... I don't care for the idea of it. It's fine. Do you like lox? I like salmon. I don't think I'd like it on a bagel. Smoked salmon. It's yeah, fine. I don't, I it's don't not, it's like nothing, it. it's nothing special. I'm trying to get a good, lox. what's your, your bagel order? If you, if you're going Everything bagel, regular cream cheese. 
That's it. I'm trying to do something. Every time I go to a bagel shop, these people are ordering fucking insane. You could get a salmon cream bagel. cheese. That's better. Like salmon cream cheese, you don't have to deal with the actual like slimy the fish. Of the lot. Yeah. I've been doing sometimes maybe a scallion cream cheese with tomato and onion. Yeah. So throw that on a bagel too, which just makes. Do it an onion awesome. bagel. Like, onion bagels are, are awesome. Well, everything bagel has the onion on it. But yeah. onion bagels are awesome too. If you're looking to change it up. I'm looking to change it up. I, I want something. It's not necessarily the bagel itself. I just want something different on the bagel. I feel like it's, it's just cream cheese. I don't always like an egg bake. Uh, All right, this is turning into Thursday okay. thoughts. No, I know. Oh, wait, uh, hold on. <laughs> everything, bagel, everything bagels also smell. I have a very strong smell to it. But, but those are not, acceptable. Yeah, that's not. No, there's there's no no everything bagels ever been like. Ugh. No, if we you have just those in the kitchen. Bust out a, a, a week, tuna or egg salad. Like tuna salad. I'm not. If you're in a wide open office, that's fine, whatever. But like, if you like cook it in the kitchen and people have to go walk into your tuna zone, that's offensive. I'm not even kidding, this is a true story. The job I was at before this, we were in an office and it was shared and it was like, so every different room was a different company or whatever. And we had like a couple rooms Is it we work? Essentially. Um, and there was this one woman on the floor, never knew her name, but walked by her every day. And there was <laughs> at lunch, shoot, I'm not even kidding, microwave a bag of broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> it made the entire That's disgusting. building smell. That's um, disgusting. It was the absolute worst. <laughs> was, it, was it you? No. I love yeah, broccoli, I but it was. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was like an older woman. It was you. No, it wasn't. Yeah. You're trying Rockley to Broccoli Che. Yeah. <laughs> He's been gauging the reaction. He, said, he told that story once, and people were like, dude, why would you do that? And he yeah. shifted it to the woman. <laughs> now, that you should be able to get fired for. Not ordering chicken salad, but I think if you're microwaving broccoli every day, that might every not be day. fair cause for, yeah. for uh, fire, but it should be. Uh, this clip from over the weekend, worshiping Jesus 30,000 feet. Throw him off the plane. A TikTok of a couple with a guitar singing Christian music. This one Rome guy looks like he wants to just strangle them. Throw him off the plane. They were, I don't, that's one of the most disrespectful things you could do this has to be like i mean this has to be like a, a retreat or something right that's what i was thinking but what how what kind of on, on this big of a plane you're probably never going to be closer to god geographically true or heaven's all around us is that how it works i, I don't know for sure i don't think anyone really i don't believe in heaven and these people should be in jail yeah, I mean, I like. I think that you know, on a plane, I feel like you're always looking to get mad at people. Maybe it's the people who get up right away after the plane lands to get their luggage. But they, I mean, they look like saints compared to this. No, I would. Tr I would. I would be like. I'd treat the, this like 9/11. I was Mark Wahlberg. I'd fucking <laughs> yeah. beat the fuck out of these people. Yeah, I would. I'd be like, let's that roll. Not landing. It'd be fucking flight 93, <laughs> right? Like, let's roll. Is that what they said? Yeah. It seems like a lot of these people are like kind of enjoying it. That's why I think it has to be. It has to be like a Jesus seminar. It has to be like a Jesus seminar or something. There have to be going somewhere together. Well, what sense. kind of Jesus seminar would all be on the same commercial? It looks like a commercial. Flight. Or like a BYU like volleyball <laughs> meet they're going to. I don't I know. I think maybe it's a big group if, in the same section of the plane. If that's a regular plane, like we're about to get on a plane to go to Chicago, if that happened on a regular plane, I would lose my shit. Yeah, I think you'd be able to leave. I think they would be able to get arrested the second it. it Land right. Him. That's why it That's makes me no think there's got to be there's got to be something more to this story. I don't know. Look in the back of the plane. The one guy looking just so angry makes me <laughs> think that if he knew he was signing up for a Jesus retreat or something, he would know what he's getting. The guy tried to save 20 bucks on a flight. Or he's just like, I mean, go back to him real quick. Dude, look <laughs> at his wife. His wife is smiling. He's no, just... she, his wife's his wife's not happy. I don't think. Um, yeah, that's a smile. smile. So he's just fucking along for the ride. Like, he doesn't want to be there for other reasons. All the way, yeah, I guess you see some phones up in the back. I can't imagine. That's a dude who's just at church who doesn't want to be at church, right? Yeah. We just got Happens no to be escape. on a plane. Yeah. No, no, thank you. Uh, then we got Amanda Bynes, conservatorship ends. Uh, I guess every just fucking right. former teenage star or whatever is in a conservatorship. She dropped a rap song. I haven't heard it yet, but <laughs> apparently it's terrifying. How do you get someone in a conservatorship? <laughs> I want to put Stephen Che in a conservatorship. 
So what is it? You just have to like get approval for something? Yeah, I kind of. I, I guess we kind of are in it. <laughs> we are. I kind of am. Or they control all your money. Right. I need a conservatorship a then. Money. Yeah. So I need a conservatorship for my responsible gambling. Is what I'm saying. Mm. All right, let's play. I need Britney Spears' dad to take care of me. Is he in jail for that? No. All right, put her back in the conservatorship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think conservatorships are maybe, maybe people are going to get more. And like Britney Spears, since she's got out, she's been kind of on a wild streak. Like Amanda Bynes. What, getting yeah. pregnant, Tommy? That's a natural <laughs> well, she thing. Was, she was posting a lot of stuff on Instagram and. She, her boobs? <laughs> there was there was some chatter that prude. maybe she should have been, you know, maybe the conservatorship wasn't the worst idea in the world. Amanda <laughs> Bynes is dropping this. Maybe more people are going to be getting I'm it. I'm happy Britney got freed, but if Amanda Bynes is going to put out music like that, maybe she shouldn't be. Can you imagine just being exposed to all that stuff at such a young age and you're, like, uber famous? Amanda Bynes was huge. No, I, I honestly can't. Anyone who's been famous since they were, like, 12 years old, I... I have all the sympathy in the oh. world. Oh yeah, Tommy doesn't like those boobs. No, oh, oh god, yeah. You I'm literally are like, she's going crazy. All she's pretty. doing is posting awesome pictures of her tits. She was posting stuff about her sister and something like that. A I, puppy I and some tits and some, some flowers. flowers. Uh, she, there were some things. I'm not going crazy. She was posting some questionable things. Like, look, ass, I'm all Tommy. for free the nip. Move. Follow Britney Spears. There you go. There you go, Steven. Um. And the Catch Me Outside girl, uh, remember her from Dr. Phil? Catch yep, Me Outside, how about that? Just bought a $6.1 million what? Florida mansion in straight cash. I love it. I love it. Is she going to flip good it? Her. <laughs> yeah, good for her. I love it. How is that even possible? Does Mark. she have, like, generational wealth? 16 million Instagram followers, uh, Florida native TV. And I mean, yeah, I guess she really just monetized herself. Right, and people are going to be mad and be like, she has no talent. Well, if you had come up with Catch Me Outside, how about that? You would right. be living in this house. I don't hate I don't hate on that. Yeah, no, she's, I don't know what she does now, but it, I mean, she's got that house for life. It doesn't matter. Rapper and OnlyFans? Oh, fuck, oh, she has so platinum songs. She deserves every fucking she's second. She's a massive success. Are you guys platinum yet? You guys are right there, right? For what? Drink paint? I don't think so. No? Uh, all right, that's it. Crazy post show. Uh, that was the case race. <sighs> fun. I had a lot of fun. You said you wanted to do it again. Yeah, no, I had a lot of fun. I just talked too much. I got way too drunk. <laughs> I mean, I had 14 beers in two hours. I don't. I can't remember the last time. Probably been a decade since I've drank 14 drinks in one night, and I did it in two hours. Yeah, it's a lot. So yeah, it turns out. Um, I just like said I, I gave money away. <laughs> told people I love them, then slap the fuck out of people. But that's yeah. a good, that's a good, outside of maybe the slapping, that's a good, it was like, happy drunk No, the slaps were I would say like good. two and a half, it was like a four, four hours, four and a half hours? Four hours. I'd say the first two and a half hours, I'm proud of my showing, accomplishment, drinking. Last hour and a half, I wish someone had just punched me in the nose. <laughs> did you handle your own? You kind of did. Worst? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Did you handle it the worst, do you think? The alcohol? No. No sass. But also, <laughs> I, you can't say the, like, the problem was. We all have different states. Right. We all like, went we, to them. I was, I drank the second most on the show. And Dana went through the wall. He drank so much, <laughs> he just stopped talking. So I was probably, like, three drinks away from going through the wall, but I didn't get there. So I can't really be that hard on myself, because, like, I was the drunkest. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> probably could have talked a little less. What are you going to do? And uh, Barcelona vs. America, cast release, season two. Are you in it? No, I'm not doing it. I'm Why? doing another one. Uh, the Fear Factor? Uh, I don't know if it's out yet. I don't think it's out. Well, I can say whatever I want. Fear Factor? I'm doing, a, I'm doing another reality show. I'm not doing this one. Um, but pretty good cast. I hope you get tortured. Come on. <laughs> it's not funny. I actually think I'm, um, I might be making a guest appearance. I'll make sure that you get tortured on that episode. Come on, that's not funny. Seriously, it'll it will be six weeks, but so I'll be able. Maybe to just this that. part. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. I that that I I couldn't. I wouldn't have been able to do any of the Barcelona vs. America challenges. Like, no, this would be awesome. Uh, yeah, Joey, Marty, Alex, Nick, KB, Kelly, Dana, and Pat. 
Jeff D. Lowe back hosting. Could technically all, technically all be male names. Good point. I mean, that's the, it's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just Kelly and Alex, I guess. But Dana's that. a chick name. But is also a guy, Dana Barros, who is also oh, Dana B. This is why I don't like you. Mm. Kelly would be a, is a pretty rare Kelly name. Yeah, uh, Kelly Olenek? Yeah, was a wide receiver for the, um, no, that was Ashley Lilly. Oh, Ashley Lilly. Ashley Lilly. Broncos, yeah. He was fast. Kelly Tribuca. Um, great, like, sneaky great stuff coming this summer with this, the Fear Factor thing, and then Yak Idol. Yes. Yeah, when is Yak Idol? June. It's Barstool Idol, just hosted by the Yak, I should say. Got it. So, like, it's going to be the same. Bar it's Barstool Idol, the person ends up with a job at Barstool. One week? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> it's just the Yak is, is hosting the whole thing. Um, but, yeah, there should be some great stuff coming this summer. Because summer's obviously, like, a little downtime. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so tune in, and you guys are playing in the Dozen tomorrow night, right, in Chicago? Yeah, in Chicago, live show. We're going for Dozen through. tournaments coming in May? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the Yak just moved to a new YouTube channel. Yep. That we're going to be live on every day, the Barcelona Yak YouTube channel. I think maybe we have to incentivize people and just say <sighs> if we get to 100,000, we'll do another case race. I just decided that. Yeah, I'm in. I think right. we're just both players. <laughs> excuses. I just, I'm like teetering on that spot where it's like if you have like a great night with your boys, yeah. like what if I just run it back? Yeah. What if I just, what if we just got a place together and I just said goodbye <laughs> to my family, <laughs> fucked up all the time? So I'm kind of struggling with that right now where I kind of want to just do that. Yeah, understandable. Yeah, the I moment like will pass. We all also know kind of where we can get to. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to reorganize the teams. That'll be fun yeah. based on power rankings. A draft. Yeah. Draft. So you'd, okay. you'd, you'd be second behind Dana, right? Uh, yeah. Well, Dana was by himself. Was, yeah. was pretty good, right? Yeah, da was great. yeah, Dana would be, like, if we did Dana and, like, KB together, could they win? Probably. Yeah, Close. we'll see. We'll yeah. see. We'll, we'll figure it out. 100,000 subscribers, though. We're 66. Yep. So we got a ways to go. But another case race on yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, we should, we should just make it a rule. Every 100,000, we do a case race. Every 50? No. <laughs> see? That's bad. All right. I'm making right. that rule. See you guys tomorrow. All right. See ya.